looking at this question. It says a researcher believes that treating seeds with certain additives before planting can enhance the growth of plants. So an experiment to investigate this is conducted. From a large number of Romo tomato seeds, 24 seeds are randomly chosen and two are assigned to each of 12 containers. One of the two seeds is randomly selected and treated with some additive. The other one is the control. Both seeds are planted in the same container. The growth in centimeters of the 24 plants is measured after 30 days. These data were used to generate the partial computer output shown below and graphical displays of the assumption of normality is not unreasonable. So the first thing says construct a confidence interval for the mean difference in growth in centimeters of the plants of the untreated and treated seeds. Be sure to interpret this interval. This part, I think, should be understood. Of course, you're going to interpret it. Likewise, although it doesn't say so, you must include the idea of conditions. And so with my conditions, um, I am glad the seeds were randomly selected. Since the population is very large, the 10% rule is met. I am glad to see the assumption of normality. is reasonable. So since those things are met, I've got the random selection, I've got the 10% rule, I've got a normal distribution. I can talk about what type of procedure to do. It says it's going to be a confidence interval for the mean difference. And I look here, and even though this says standiv, this means S and not sigma. So therefore, I will use the uh, T procedures for the difference in means. And what I'm going to do here is actually the confidence interval. Now, the next part I should do is writing down the formula, and the formula is going to say this, x bar plus or minus t star times s over the square root of n. The problem is I'm a little confused when I look at this table because I've got three different things. What should I use? Well, what you should use is this bottom row. And the reason that they say that for this mean difference is that the pots themselves are not independent from one another are the seeds themselves because I've planted two, one of each type, in each container. So imagine for a moment that you've got a container that doesn't drain very well. Well, both seeds are going to be affected by that. Or this other container is maybe more in the sun. Well, both of the seeds are going to be affected by that. And so the seed and each seed basically has a counterpart that wasn't treated the same way, but is in the same pot. So the difference is whether the seed itself was, was given the additive. So what I want to do is look at these numbers here, this bottom row, and my formula then is going to be x bar, which is negative 2.015, negative 2.015, plus or minus t star, I'll come to that in just a second, s is 1.163, and I've got 12 things, so that N right there is going to be the 12 differences, the 12 differences. Therefore, my degrees of freedom are 11. So to find this T star, I go to my, my T chart. There's a T chart, and I go to 11 degrees of freedom. Oh, I forgot what level I want here. Um, I want... Well, I don't see that it says what level I want. So how about 95%? It says make a confidence interval. Let's go with a 95%. So a 95% interval 
with 11 degrees of freedom gives me a T star of 2.201, 2.201. So this number right here is going to be 2.201. That's because a confidence level of 95% implies a T star critical value of 2.201. And so now I can take my calculator. So here's my calculator and I could work this problem out by typing all those numbers in, or I can go to stat test T interval. I can type in the data like this, rather the stats like that. The, the data would be if I actually have the numbers from the plant. So I have the stats, the summary statistics, hit calculate, chick chicka whir whir, and I get this answer right here. So this is telling me the interval, write that down here, negative 2.754, negative 1.276. And so I'm 95% confident that the truth is in there. I'm going to pause the video and write. I'm 95% confident the true difference in growth of the two seeds, untreated minus treated, is between these two numbers. That's my interpretation of that. And now I go back and look at the problem. It said based only on this confidence interval. This is an important statement. When they tell you something like this on the AP test, only use the confidence interval in part A. Because it says only use it. Is there sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a significant mean difference in growth between untreated and treated? Justify your conclusion. Yes. We can conclude that if we did a hypothesis. So this says don't do a hypothesis test. But if we did a hypothesis test, we would find that it was statistically significant. And the reason is this. Zero is not in my interval. So I'm pretty sure that untreated is less than treated. How much less? Somewhere between 2.75 and 1.276 less. So I'm pretty sure it's less somewhere in this interval less. Let me pause it and write that down. So here's what I wrote. Since zero is not in my interval, I'm fairly certain that the untreated seeds grow less than the treated ones. How much less? Well, I guess it's somewhere between these two numbers on average. I do, therefore, find a statistically significant difference. One pet peeve of mine is that when I said it was 2.75 and 1.276 less, I don't need the negative on there because I said less. So there's how you would work this question here.